doesn't. This kick to spend sporting Portugal into the next round. Our sporting fans are loving it. Yes, guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the adventure. And today, it's a massive one in the Europa League. We got Arsenal, and they're taking on Sporting Portugal. Well, Arsenal are in brilliant form. The top of the Premier League, they're riding high, they're enjoying life. Sporting haven't really picked up the form that they did last season and sit about fourth in the Portuguese League. Uh, but they are looking to go far in this competition. And at 2 all, anything can happen. If you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. We are getting close to 100,000 subscribers. So hit that big red button real quick to be part of the 100k club. Obviously, it finished 2 all in Lisbon. That's going to make a great game today. Who's going to go through? Let's get down to London and find out. Well, we have made it to Wembley Stadium. I drove all the way down here considering there was no train. So long, long way, but... Worthy sight, very worthy sight. Anyway, time to swap here for the Emirates for Arsenal versus Sporting. Well, we're in. Got my cabin lager. Cheers to that. Only having one, it's a long way back for me tonight. Obviously, about a three hour drive from Wembley. I've heard that Saka's not in the squad. He's literally my favourite Arsenal player. I don't know why he's not in the squad. Well, I think he's on the bench, but he's not starting. Jay Zeus is back in, giving him minutes before the weekend. Uh, that's good for Arsenal. Uh, big plus for them. Well, I'm not sure what the scoreline's going to be. I'm going to go, obviously, it's a neutral game. I always like to do score prediction at the neutrals. I'm going to go 2 0 to the Gunners. I think they'll get through. <laughs> Okay, we've made it in side. Good atmosphere there on the concourse. Arsenal definitely want to win a trophy this season. Will it be the Premier League or will it be the Europa League? I think mean, they've got a great chance in both. We'll see how they do. We're literally right next to the sporting fans as well. Very excited for today. I'm hoping, right, deep down, that Arsenal win this game. I come see Saka as well. He's not playing. I'm disappointed about that. But I want to see Arsenal win this game. Obviously, because as a City fan, I want to see Arsenal play Thursday, Sunday, Thursday, Sunday. So they're at a disadvantage. But I'm behind them tonight. English comes in the Champions League, Europa League, except for Liverpool and Man United could go all the way because we're England at the end of the day, we're all together when we put on that white shirt. Let's have a good game. So here's our view. We are right next to the sporting fans who had taken the full allocation and sold the full allocation. Great support from them. in the quarter at stake. Let's have a good game. Atmosphere from both teams. Unbelievable. They don't seem bothered, do they? Well, it's just starting to get a bit blown over. Arsenal fans having had them. Really a lot of action on the pitch, just in the stands. Arsenal haven't been good to start off. Sporting keeping the possession. Trouble going off in the stands, but great atmosphere for both teams. Absolutely stunning. Jack had finished the rebound. Wow. Fell to him on his left foot. Wow, what a start. And Arsenal haven't been the better team. Chance. Jay oh. He's offside. But that was a penalty, but it's offside. Not the better team in the first five minutes. But I'll tell you what, since the goal, they've really turned it on. Jay Zeus loving it. He's back, and I'm sure Arsenal fans are loving it. It's a really good ball. I'm saying from Adam. Stay. All the way through from Adam. Marcus Edwards. St. Jenko recovers. Marcus Edwards, Sporting's best player. Arsenal look a bit slack on that left hand side. St. Jenko's got a book his ideas up. In from Jesus. Oh, that's a really good save. Just went out of room. 
Jesus playing unbelievable football. Different Jesus again, but just runs out of room. He is the key player tonight for Arsenal. Great to see Jesus playing well, he deserves it. This is really good for both teams. Arsenal doing cross stadium chants, sporting fans, they're active, they're ready for it. It's a good game so far, Arsenal dominating this last Avengers of the first half. Well, they got the scoreline, show for it. Arsenal throwing bodies in the way. Marcus Edwards has been there playing sporting. If anything's going to happen, it's going to be through him. Well, Sporting have just had a massive opportunity. Tugarte from a long shot that's got deflected and Ramsdale made an all important save. Half time, Arsenal 1, Sporting 0. <laughs> then half time and it's 1 0 to Arsenal. And to be honest, in the first 15 minutes, Sporting were much the better team and everything's been coming through Marcus Edwards. He looks so dangerous on that right hand side. Zinchenko has been struggling to keep up with him, but it was Arsenal who took the lead from him. I have no idea who put that ball through to Martinelli, but it was absolutely stunning. Odegaard's on the pitch, it's kind of like an Odegaard ball. Uh, Martinelli puts a good save from Adam, but only comes as far as Granit Xhaka on his strong side and puts it in the back of the net with uh, ease, really. It was on his strong side, he couldn't really miss, but he put it in that side of the net beautifully. And Arsenal's controlled the game since then. Obviously, Sporting's best chance, Marcus Edwards breaking through, but a brilliant goal saving block by Gabriel. Uh, and that's really been Sporting's best chance since the goal Arsenal dictated. Arsenal score another, they're through, and it'll be convincing for them. However, Sporting get an equaliser. They'll be coming out to get it. Why not? They've got nothing to lose in the last 45. Then it's going to be interesting. Let's cross the second half. Here we go. Second half is underway. Oh my God. I've just seen one of the greatest goals ever live. Unbelievable scenes. Unbelievable. The Arsenal players consoling Ramsdale. Unbelievable. One of the greatest goals I've seen live for a long, long time. And it's Pedro Goncalves. I know it's not pronounced like that, but I've already said it due to Danny Aaron's. What a goal for the halfway line, nothing on. It's caught Ramsdale off his line. Ramsdale's fun, tried to get it, but it's just gone straight over him. Lisbon a level, unbelievable. Sporting Portugal deserved that in the second half. They've been going for this goal, and it's come out of nothing. I'm so sorry I missed it. It was an unbelievable goal. I really wish I got it for you guys. Well, this game has become interesting. What a goal from Pedro Goncalves it was. Well, sporting fans are loving it. Well, we got a bit of stadium issues. Anybody down there? I feel bad for you. There's a couple of people trying to get out of the way. For Arsenal, good save from Adam. Is this going to go to extra time? Well, I hope it's not. <laughs> I'd love to see some penalties as a neutral. Games were fantastic in the second half. Sporting have been non stop attacking and attacking their best form of defence at the moment. Arsenal were on top, obviously, after the goal. And since then, in the second half, Sporting have been brilliant and not really allowed Arsenal to have possession and have the chance to get it to Sacco Martinelli. Big Sacco has just come on 10 minutes ago, sucks the ball twice. Great for Sporting that. It's like a waterfall in the ground, we got another one. Some, uh, I'll see where it's being affected with the empty seat. Someone's brave and going for it. Ball from Saka. Ball right across. Oh! Is it in? No. It's offside. Saka swaps sides and he's making an impact. A brilliant ball over the cross. No idea how Sporting have got that away. An offside flight goes up to save them. Was it in or not? That no, doesn't really matter. So out of time, four minutes of it. I'd like to see extra time personally, but everyone else wouldn't. <laughs> and that's it. We're getting extra time! I'm happy for this. Arsenal fans aren't, I'm sure Sporting fans aren't, but we are going into extra time. One all, and Sporting have deserved that goal to go into extra time. And what a goal it was inside the centre circle. Pedro Goncalves, I know he's not called that, but I like to call him that, <laughs> with an unbelievable goal. I thought Ramsdale was going to save it, but he didn't. Incredible. Here we go, extra time, 30 minutes. Who takes the win? Oh, what a miss! How's he not scored that? 
literally an Arsenal onslaught in this second period of extra time. Is that ball going to come though? Oh, it's going to fall. Oh, it's too much from Arsenal. Big hit for Arsenal. Can they win it here? Oh, it's a good header. It's a save from Adan. Good chance that for the Gunners. All Arsenal. Every time Sporting get the ball, it goes straight back to the Gunners and they come back with another chance. Is Arsenal Ar Ar going to find the winner though or are we getting penalties? And it comes. Oh, oh, brilliant in clearance. Big ass skips away from two. Oh, he's just getting in there, five to hit. That's three fouls in a row. Redbury's going to book all three. That's another one. It's off. It's off. Wow. The game has been getting tasty. Well, Garty's had a good game as well, and it would be crazy if he's one of the penalty takers for Sporting. Disappointing way to end a good game for him. And it all comes down to this, man. It's going to penalties. Well, two shoots on time, Arsenal were brilliant in that second half of extra time and uh, Sporting are lucky to get to penalties but I think it's, I don't know whether it's a fair result I think Arsenal were dominant in that extra time period Sporting didn't really have a chance uh, and Mark Robinson drops out hit the post but penalties, here we go well, The penalties are being taken down here to the delight of the Sporting faithful First penalty for Sporting, into the net Erdegaard steps up Oh, it's a brilliant penalty that for Martin Erdegaard and he's getting the crowd up as well. Also moved right to the edge of the seg line. This is going to be fun. Sporting second kick. I think Ramsdale must have thought he was going to stay down the middle. Makayo Saka. Scores. Great penalty. Never in doubt from him. Third kick for Sporting. Arsenal fans behind the goal trying to put him off. And it's nearly worked! Ramsdale went the right way, so close to saving it. Oh, Arsenal needs to score now, it's a bit of a disadvantage going second as well. Trossard's biggest kick for Arsenal. Oh, and he just about. It was a nervous penalty, and Adam should have saved it. But that will give him the world of confidence. Fourth kick for Sporting. Oh, under Ramsdale. He's got to try and do better for that one. Martinelli needs to score. He doesn't. That's massive. And the Sporting fans go mad and they've got a kick to win it. This kick to spend Sporting Portugal into the next round. And they do it. Sporting have won it. After an insane game of football. And Sporting have done it. Scenes in the away end. Congratulations to them. Disappointing for Arsenal. That's what it means to the players. Unbelievable. Full time then at the Emirates, and it is Sporting Portugal who progress to the quarter finals of the Europa League uh, after a brilliant penalty shootout win. Obviously, Xhaka gave Arsenal the lead, a brilliant halfway line goal from Pedro Goncard got Portugal uh, sporting level, and then it was just deny, deny, deny uh, Arsenal. Put that wall in front of that goal and try and get with a draw and get to penalties. And they took away all five penalties to win the game. Martinelli's just kicking off here. Uh, Martinelli uh, was the man, unfortunately, who missed. And I'm quite disappointed as much as the Arsenal fans around me. Uh, due to the fact I wanted them to see by Thursday, Sunday, uh, obviously going into the Premier League title fight, more games for them. But is this a bit of a blessing in disguise now to solely focus on winning the Premier League? I think it is, you know, I think it is a little bit of a blessing. But congratulations to Sporting Portugal, taking nothing away from them. The penalties were excellent and their fans have been so Superb and coming numbers. Unbelievable. Congrats to Sporting. That's how much it means. Oh, the fans and the players are going crazy. That's how much it means to the players. What a performance from them. So that is going to bring an end to the video. I'm sure these guys behind me are going to be celebrating throughout the night. What a fantastic result for them. If you have enjoyed the vlog, make sure to smash the like, subscribe down below for more football content and adventures. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out for the Emirates. Thank you.